Hey guys, Dan Krause here again, working on Mercedes M103 wiring uh, for the fuel injection system. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to wire that all up and make it all pretty. Um, since I'm making my own wiring harness, I can pretty much do anything I want at this point. So uh, yeah, check it out. Okay, so what I've done so far is made the power wire cable for the injectors. And then I actually have um, almost finished up the wiring, the signal wire for the injectors. Um, this is a batch fire injection system, so it's extremely simple. Uh, you really only need you know, two wires going to the, to the ECU to run this injector setup. One signal wire and one power wire. So, <clears throat> and I can go through sequential injection and batch fire injection or semi badge fire injection um, later on, which I'm sure I will, but. And so you see, we've got, I've got all kinds of crap here. Um, but I also, I'm gonna show you um, where to wire it into this little relay board, just as a reference, um, but yeah. All right, so you can see the blue signal wires I have paired up to the firing order in, a, in just a pair. So firing order goes one, two, three. So you can see why I just have two sets of three wires, if that makes sense. So one will go to, it'll go like this, to this, to these injectors. You can see how I've got it laid out. Okay, so one, two, three, and then this will go to the other three, okay? So it'll be separate like that. And so then this wire will fire four, five, and six. Does that makes sense. Now, if you were wiring this for a true sequential, it would be, you would have them wired in pairs, so uh, for instance, one and two would be a pair, three and four would be a pair, and then five and six would be a pair. And that's how you would um, do your sequential wiring. Um, the way I'm doing it for batch fire, uh, it doesn't really matter if you do it this way with the three, or you could set it up just like you have my power wire here and just mimic that um, as your signal wire. Just make the same thing and uh, that could be your signal wire as well. I'm just doing it this way um, because I wanted to. <laughs> so there you go. Here I just used some good heat shrink tubing 
and slide it over and shrink it up. Next I set the intake manifold in and route the wires just to make sure that everything is going to fit correctly uh, before I um, shrink tube all of it up. All right guys, so here's the whole harness assembled besides the spark uh, cables. I haven't done that yet, but that's the last thing on the list pretty much, at least for the engine. And so these are for the injectors. This here is for the coolant temp sensor. This one here is for the uh, air temperature intake air temperature and then this one here is for the TPS signal and then this one here is actually for the VR sensor or hall sensor but it's going to be a VR sensor and then this is the the return for that so that's pretty much it I have pretty much everything here is all set outside of the the uh, plugs, um, but I won't know what plugs to get until I decide 100% which sensors I use. So it's all wired though, not too bad. Took me about a day to do it. All right, so here's what it's gonna look like when I'm sitting in the car. So those are the injectors. Something like that. You 
see how clean this is going to be. And you're not going to see many wires. And I may even make a little cover for these wires so you don't, so you don't see them at all. But we'll see when I get there. Okay. So this will run something like that. <laughs> the air intake temp. I'm, I'll either have it on the, um, kind of going into the throttle body right before it. That's probably what I'll do. I just have to weld the bung on the, one of the charge pipes. It's actually gonna run underneath here too. Here, if you can see down here. So, this is the uh, VR sensor wiring right down here. So I got plenty because the VR sensor will actually sit um, right down here. It mounts on the bottom. Um, you, you use these two bolts and there's a bracket and then the sensor mounts, mounts on the bottom. And then it's a 60 tooth uh, wheel with two teeth missing. No. <laughs> well, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I'm going to be uh, finishing up the spark wiring in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe.